Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 2 in this series entitled Navigating ASP.NET IDE and Review of HTML Tags. Start Visual Studio 2012 by clicking Start or Windows icon in the lower left of the screen. Then All Programs, Microsoft Visual Studio 2012, Visual Studio 2012. It will take some time the first time you run it. The first dialog box you will see may ask you for a development tool. For this tutorial, please select Visual C Sharp and continue. Here's our main screen. There are several ways to create ASP.NET website. For now, let's concentrate on one by clicking File, New, Website. Make sure that under the template you select Visual C Sharp. And then, in the middle window, ASP.NET Empty Website. For the web location, make sure it's File System. And this is the current directory where you can save your website. If you want to change it, you can click the Browse, but I suggest that you leave it as it is and then click OK button. Let's familiarize ourselves with the environment. Common to Window Application is the main menu where all the commands and services can be found. Below it are the toolbars that can be hidden or shown by right-clicking any part of the menu or any toolbar displayed. Those with check are enabled or shown, and those without are hidden. On the upper right is a small window called the Solution Explorer. It's like a Windows Explorer because we can see our folders and files that are part of our website. We can say that it is docked on the right. We can use Auto Hide to minimize it. When minimized, we can see the details again by clicking it. It will be minimized again once we move to another window. But if you want to dock it again, you may use the same pin auto hide. Below it is the properties window since .NET uses classes and objects. So we will see here selected objects, properties, and even events. These windows can be closed, dragged, or repositioned. Let's try to drag the Solution Explorer to the center. As if we drag it, we will see a placement handle that helps us to identify where we want to position the window like on top, left, bottom, or even right. Or you can simply let it float. You can reposition it by dragging it again. You can also close it. Close, close, close. If for any reason you want to go back to the initial layout, you can simply click Window, Reset window layout and click yes. Minimize on the upper left is the toolbox where we can find different components that we can simply drag to our website. The last window is the document window in the center where we design and write codes for our website. We can see it right now because we don't have even a single web form yet. We're almost ready to start with our website, but let's just review for a minute some of HTML tags that I hope you are already familiar with. Tags are enclosed by less than and greater than symbols. Some tags have a closing tag that is the same as the beginning tag, and the only difference is the slash character after less than. Here are some of HTML tags. HTML denotes beginning and ending of HTML file. Head a section that contains information about the page. Title denotes the title of the page shown in the title bar. Body denotes start and end of the page body. P denotes paragraph. BR denotes line break. Span used to influence a part of a document in the same line. Div used like span but with explicit line break. IMG used to insert image. UL or OL, used to create bulleted or numbered list. LI, denotes items on list. A, used to create links. Table, used to define a table. TR, denotes table row. TD, denotes cell content. Form, used to create an input form. Input, used to add components in a form like text field, radio, button, checkbox, and others. Now that we are familiar with the IDE and have reviewed HTML tags, we can proceed in creating our first ASP.NET website. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.